Hi, this is Kelly. I am going to revisit today the tutorial I made a while ago for using Photoshop Elements with the Disney Princess paper doll files, the 3D paper dolls. Um, they come as PDFs and that doesn't open in Silhouette Studio, so I'm going to show you how to convert those so they can be opened and traced in Studio. So first we're going to be in Photoshop Elements. I'm using um, version 11, but the things I use are the same in the older versions as well. Okay, so first I'm going to open my PDF file. So I'm going to do Pocahontas, and actually you can just click and drag over here, and I want to just open the first page and the second page. Um, the first page is the paper doll, and the second page is her stand, so I'm going to hold shift while I click on the second page also. Click OK. And now it will open these two documents, uh, these two separate pages. Um, so the first page, I'm just going to go to File, Save As. Down here in Format, I want to save it as a PNG. And I'm going to rename it Pocahontas 1. and I just click OK for the default. And now it's going to save it as a PNG file, which is an image file, and Silhouette Studio will open that kind. I'm going to open my second one, second page, File, Save As, PNG, Pocahontas 2. I'm just saving over the one I already have on my computer. Okay, and that's all we need Photoshop Elements for this time. Now we're going to go over to Silhouette Studio, and we will find the folder where we saved it. I'm going to go to my princesses folder and I'm just going to drag the Pocahontas file over. I'm going to change this to letter size on my page window because that's the size of printer I have. And now I'm going to go to my trace window, select trace area, and just click and drag an outline around it. Put it in the little gray box. Now you see the yellow pop-up for tracing. Turn off the high-pass filter right here. Now bump up the threshold until everything is filled in. Looks like 92% works for this one. Now, for paper doll, click Trace and Detach and give it just a minute to think. And now I can drag these pieces over. Make sure didn't leave anything behind that's important. And I'm going to select all of this extra stuff and delete it. Now I'm going to turn on my registration marks and arrange the pieces on here to make sure I can fit it all for printing. It has to be within the red borders and not touching the crosshatch areas. And it looks like we are good for this one. The last thing we need to do is select all of these Go to our cut style window. When you trace and detach, it does not turn on the cut lines even though it has given cut lines. So you just need to click cut edge and you can see those are there. I might want to move this spot away a little bit. Probably okay, but just move it apart a little. And I'm still not touching there. So 
Now I have my print and cut for page one. And I can send it, print it, and then send it to my silhouette. And then I need to get the second page, the stand. I'm just going to drag it from the folder right onto my workspace. Do the same thing. Select trace area. Turn off high pass filter. Bump up the threshold. Now you can see there's some inner lines, but as long as they're not touching the edge, uh, when you trace and detach, it should just go with the outer edge and leave all that in place. Give it a minute to think. Okay, it did not lose those spiral edges. Okay, so now I've dragged that part away that I need. Delete the rest. Change to letter size. Turn on my registration marks. And now you see that I do go outside the edges. Um, what I'm going to do here is give myself the widest margin possible with these little sliders. Then I'm going to rotate this see if I can fit it all on one page. We're pretty close, but I think we did it. Now remember, in a print, or actually in any silhouette cut, if your document goes a little outside of these red edges, the red border, what that means is your blade will just pick up at these spots. It won't cut anything here it won't cut along that red edge, it will just pick up at these points where it overlaps and really if you're so close you could just finish that off with scissors but in this case we don't have to. Go to our cut style window, click cut edge and now we've got our second page ready to print and then to cut.